Happy. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, guys, and welcome to the 930. Hi, good morning. Welcome to the 930 Body Self class. We're going to get started in just a minute. Today, all we're going to need, I'm going to get my music settled here so it doesn't skip. There we go. All we're going to need is a set of medium weight. So we're going to be working a lot of posterior chain today. Today's going to be a posterior chain, so everything on the backside. So we'll get heavier weights today, medium to heavy, as well as a mini band, and that's all we're going to need for today's workout. So we'll give about 20 seconds or so before we get started. We'll see if anyone else will pop on. There we go. Now take a minute to set yourself up. So again, all we're going to need is heavier dumbbells in the front. Get them ready to go. A mini band. And that's all we'll need for today. 10 seconds before we start, guys. Let's get ourselves settled. Keep your water near you. And keep yourself hydrated before we start. All right, so let's get moving nice and gently. We're going to get to the middle of the mat. And just nice and easy, just a side step to kind of warm up here. So always starting out nice and slow. I'm going to bend my knees slightly, hinge from the hips. Good. And just go a little side to side here. Now we're going to crank it up. We can add that little hop, hop, hop. That's it. So nice and slow. Perfect. And if you'd like, you can cross that leg over right behind. So you're kicking it back. Kick. There you go. Yes. Hop it side to side. Nice, soft landing. Every time you land, you're taking it nice and easy. There you go, guys. Let's keep going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Coming to the middle of the mat, let's just march it on the spot. And then if you want, you can go a little bit higher, bringing up the intensity a little bit higher. Good. Just a little run on the spot just to get the heart rate going just a little bit here, guys, to warm it up. Come on, let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Let's go back to that side to side here. Side to side. And then pick it up. Pick it up. There you go. A little lateral hop here. Making sure we're landing softly on our feet. You can tap the ground behind you. Or you can keep the foot elevated and not tap. Not touch the ground. Threading this leg side to side. Good. Here we go. For four. Three, two, last one, guys. Awesome job. Woo. All right, good warm up. Now that the heart rate's up a little bit, we're going to take a nice deep breath in, big reach up. Off to we're going to fold forward, right down. Straight legs as much as you can until you need to bend. Walk it out into that high plank. Fold that plank here. Awesome job, guys. Engaging your core, bring the feet close together, and we're going to tap one foot out, then bring it in. Other leg out, bring it in. That's it. Woo! Challenging our core here a little bit. Making sure your body's not moving, and we're just tapping that foot out to the side. For eight, seven, looking good, six, five more. Go for four. Three, two, and one. Bringing our feet together, take them a little bit wider. Drop your knees, push yourself back into child pose. Awesome job. Hang out here for just a second. Take a nice deep breath in and bring yourself back up into that high plank. This time, we're going to tuck one knee in, then out. Knee and out. We're going to prepare ourselves for a mountain climber. Ready? If you want to go a little faster, tuck, 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 tuck. Running that knee in. There you go. Come on. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Standing nice and wide. Drop your knees. Child pose once again. Woo! Nice good warm up. We're going to do that whole round all over again. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, back into that high plank. Bring it up. Tap the feet together. And we're going to go into a side tap and in. Tap and in. Tap 
in, in. We're really warming up that chest, warming up the core. There we go. Come on. Push. Four more. Let's go for four. Three. Two. One. Drop into child's pose. One last time. Give yourself a second for your shoulders to relax. Four. Three. Two. Up into the high plank. And let's go right to that mountain climber. Hup. Hup. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Drop it down. Last tail pose. Awesome, awesome warm up, guys. Okay. So, speaking about posterior chain. All right. So, we're definitely going to start off with a little bit of a glute warm up, a glute activation workout. So, I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer. We're going to grab our mini band. That mini band is going to go above the knee. So, let's slip on that mini band if you have it. You can also do this without the mini band. Let me just bring down that music. Good. And we're going to switch the song because I like music to kind of justify our workout. Since we're doing our glutes, we're going to get a little booty playlist going on here. All right, so here it is. Where did you go? So with that mini band just above the knee, we're going to turn ourselves into a hand, hand, knee, knee position. So we're going to basically do three exercises back to back, twice per side. And of course, I can't find my great playlist. Where did you go? Ha, 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 ha. That's okay. You know what? We'll just keep it the way it is. Let's change it to this song instead. Okay, so what we're going to do here is starting off with our hands and feet. I'm going to start off with my right leg. My right leg is closest to you guys. And here are the three exercises we'll do back to back. I'm going to start with donkey kick. So I'm just bringing my knee in a little bit closer and then pushing my foot up to the sky. I like to pretend like I have a glass of water on my foot. So I'm bringing that heel up to the sky and I'm just squeezing my bum. So once I've done 10 donkey kicks, you're going to straighten out your leg nice and long like someone's pulling that leg lift into a straight leg kickback 10 times and then we're going to bring the knee in next to fire hydrant working those glute knees we're going to open the knees up to the side 10 times okay so let's get ready guys get that mini band on bring it above the knee let's get ourselves into a hand hand knee knee position right leg first bring that heel up remember just squeezing the glutes we're going to go up and down two and down three we're engaging our core here four so nothing else is moving just the glutes six just that right leg seven that's it eight keep going nine and ten drop that leg right down same leg straight it right out nice long leg and we're gonna lift up two three a little bit faster with this one four five six seven eight nine ten bring that knee in from the side we're just opening the knee up to the side let's go for ten for ten that's it nine eight keep going guys seven keeping the hips pointing down towards the mat six let's go four five that's it four three last two one more time, drop that knee in. Let's get ready for those donkey kicks. Same leg, let's go. Up, down, two, that's it. Three, heel up to the sky. Four, five, six, seven, eight, keep pushing, nine, and 10. Good, that same leg, we're gonna stretch it right out. Good, feeling like that heel is nice and long, we're gonna lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Dropping that knee in. Woo! You should be feeling it now, guys. Let's go into those fire hydrants. Right leg, right knee's gonna open to the side, then pull it in for two and in. Three, abs are engaged here. Four, so nothing else is moving. Five, pelvis is looking straight down at the mat. Keep going for four more. Three, two, and one. Awesome job, guys. All right, we've done our two sets. 
We're gonna flip it over to the other side. If you need, you can reposition your band. Mine's rolling all up on me. There we go. Same idea, opposite side. So here we go. All right, so hand, hand, knee, knee position. We're gonna get that one leg straight up into that donkey kick, left leg. Here we go, kick up, pull it in. Two, that's it. Three, squeezing the glutes. Four, come on guys, five. Pushing it all the way up, six, and in, seven. You don't have to lift the leg up really high. You just wanna squeeze the glute to lift. Last one here, awesome job. Straighten that leg and let's go. Let's straighten that leg and go up for one, two, three, four. Remember, just right at the crease of your bum cheek is where you're lifting. Let's go for four more here. Three, two, and one, drop that knee right in. Let's open into that fire hydrant. Come on, two, right up to the side. Three, four, good job guys. Five, six, the other leg should really be feeling this too. Eight, nine, last one. Awesome job guys, let's do our second set. Here we go, back into that donkey kick. Three, two, one, let's lift for one. And in, two, in. Three, and four. Good, heel up to the sky, five. Squeezing the glutes, six. That's it, seven, and eight, nine, and 10. Good, straighten that leg right out like someone's pulling that heel far away from you and lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Come on, four, last three, two, and one, drop it in. My mini band's moving all the way around here. So whenever you're ready, back into that hydrant. One last set, here we go, up to the side. Two, three, power it up, come on. Five, and six, seven, eight, abs are nice and tight, nine, and 10. Awesome job, guys. Let's sit back onto the heels. Allow your glutes to have a little break here. Catch your breath. Awesome work, ladies. All right, so before we take that band off, we're gonna turn around, finishing up our glute activation. Today, again, is all posterior chain, so all the back muscles of us. So let's fix that mini band, keep it right above that knee, and let's bring ourselves right back down onto the floor, preparing ourselves for bridge and bridge, bridge modification. So feet are gonna be hip distance apart, making sure there's tension on the mini band. We're gonna press into the heel, squeeze the glute, squeeze your bum, and then inhale to lower. Exhale, press into the heel, squeeze. Inhale to lower, exhale, squeeze. So I want you to think you want all points of contact with your feet. You wanna make sure your heels and toes are pressing hard into the mat, but with a little bit more emphasis on almost pushing harder into your heels as you come up. Good. Let's go for eight more here. And up for seven. Take your time. And six, slow on the way down. Breathe out as you come up, breathe in as you come down. Let's go for four. That's it. Three, come on. Last two. Now on the last one, can you come up and hold it here? So again, we're pressing really hard into the feet. Whenever you're ready, we're gonna open and close the knees. We're gonna go press out, in, out, in out, in, that's it. We're trying to keep the bum up nice and high. So pretend like you're keeping it on a shelf here and it's not gonna drop. Keep going, four more. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Bring the knees back to center. Slowly curl the body down. Drop those knees, pull them into your chest. We're not done, guys. So give it a little break here. Bring those feet back down onto the ground, hands down to the sides. Let's lift into that bridge. So get yourself into a nice high bridge. Make sure that most part of your ribcage is on the floor. Squeeze your bum here for a second. Now, I want you to focus here. I'm gonna turn down the music just for a second. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about pressing all your weight into your right heel. So really hard press into that right heel. Can you lift your left leg up? And you're gonna drop down that right glute and then lift it up. Drop down, lift it up. For five, up, four, three, breathing out, two. One more time, lift it up high, drop the left leg. Now, can you press really hard into your left leg, reach the right leg up, 
We're gonna drop down the glute and then lift. That's it, little bridges here for five, four, three, big press, two, one more time, come up and hold, bring the other leg down. We're still keeping ourselves up into that bridge. So reposition yourself here, squeeze those glutes a little harder. Now let's open the door, close, open, close, open, close for 10. That's it, nine, keeping the feet flat as you open up your knees and six. Come on, five more, four, three, two, and one, curl that body down. Tuck your knees into your chest, give a little rock side to side. Awesome job, guys, we're almost done. For this next one, we're gonna take the mini band off. So if you want, just kind of slide that mini band off just for a moment here. Good. Back into that bridge position, feet are hip distance apart. We're gonna lift into that bridge. We're gonna hold it here just for a second. I want you to really just focus on pressing really hard into your feet, squeezing the glutes. Can you now drop your hips half an inch, kind of release the hips a little bit and release the glutes and then press hard and squeeze and lift up. So again, inhaling, release the glutes slightly, just drop about a half an inch and then exhale up. So it's like a pulse, down, up, down, squeeze. Really keeping your knees in line here and really pressing really hard into those heels. Squeeze, that's it. Let's go, come on, for five, four. Make sure both legs are pushing evenly. Two, and hold it, hold it, hold it. Really press hard into those heels, really, 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 really hard. And then slowly bring it down. Awesome job, guys. Bring those knees in. Now what I want you to do is grab onto your right knee, your right shin, pull it in. Let the left leg come out nice and deep. Hold it here for three, two, one and let's switch bring the left leg in stretch that right leg awesome work guys we started on working up the glutes we're going to get into a standing position find your heavier weight Woo! good beginning guys all right here we go so next round three sets and we're going to go between different types of squats and lunges as well as a deadlift in row so with this we're going to need our heavier dumbbells grab a drink of water Get yourself ready to go. All right, so I'll demonstrate first. This will be the three exercises we're gonna do for the first round. So watch here. We're gonna go into a basic squat with my weight. Then we're gonna take it to a side squat or side lunge. And then we're gonna reach back into a reverse lunge. So again, squat, up, side lunge, up, back lunge, up same leg okay so back and down there we go so let's do that together and then we're going to switch into the other leg and then i'll show you the second exercise all right so let's make sure we're in a room or a position where you can go sideways sideways and backwards all right so again standing at the middle of the mat let's go into our basic squat so let's go down up now to the right side lunge back up same leg lunge back and again, let's go again. Lunge or squat first, side lunge, that's it, back lunge, and back into your squat. Let's go again, that's it. We're gonna do six of these. So this is number three, back lunge, back into your squat, squat, side lunge, that's it, back lunge. Amazing, squat. Now that we have it, side lunge. There you go, back lunge. Keep going, guys. Let's do two more squats. That's it. Side lunge. Back lunge. Two more. Squat. Side lunge. Back lunge. There you go. One more. Squat. Side lunge. There you go. Back lunge. And back into the squat. So now, squat. Left side lunge. Left leg back. Back lunge back into that squat squat side lunge back lunge back into that squat you guys got it there you go side lunge back lunge Woo! basic squat back into that side lunge let's keep going back lunge side squat for third normal squat blah 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 side lunge back lunge basic squat Good, side lunge again, guys. Three more here. Back lunge, basic squat, side lunge again. 
Awesome job, guys. Really reach that leg back. Back into the squat. Two more times. There we go. Lunge. Keep going, guys. Go, go. Back into that squat. Boom, boom, boom. Side lunge. Good. Let's go into that back lunge. Last set here. Basic squat. Side lunge. And last back lunge. Awesome job, guys. All right. Next exercise. From a side position, we're going to get ourselves into an unlocking knee. Weights are in the front. We're going to go into a deadlift. Halfway up, row, stand up. So it's gonna go hinge, hold, row, and up. Again, hinge, row, up. Again, let's go down. Squeeze the shoulder blades and then back up again. Hinge, row, hang, and up. Hinge, row, hang, and up. That's it, hinge, row. Good job, guys. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And breathe out. Keep going down, row, hang, and up. Good. Let's go six more here. And up. Let's go for five. And up. Four, row, hang, and up. Three, row, hang, and up. Two, row hang and up one last one that's it now on this last one here let's go into a hinge here bent over row let's row for 10 for 10 and down nine and down eight you've got it seven keep going guys six squeezing that back for five four three getting that back to work a little harder here one more time Awesome job, guys. Standing up nice and tall. Give yourself a few seconds into our second round of squat and lunges. This time, just to make it less confusing, we're just going to go into the side lunge and then back into the back lunge, okay? Back and forth makes it a little bit easier transition. Ready? Four, three, right leg, side lunge. We're going to go side lunge in, reverse lunge. Okay, again, side lunge up. Reverse lunge, that's it. Let's go for four more and back. Three and back, two and back. One more time and back, left leg. Let's go, side lunge and back. Two and back, three and back. Three more here, four. And down, good job guys. Five, and down, last one, six, and down. Awesome job guys, let's bring it back to the front. Deadlift with a row, feet hip distance apart. Three, two, we're gonna hinge down. So hinge, row, hang, and up. Hinge, row, hang, and up. Eight more, and down. Seven, and up, six, and row, down, and up, five, row, hang, and up, four, row, hang, and up, three, that's it, good, last two, now on the last one, we're going to hang into that row, we're going to row ten times, and nine, eight, good, we're hanging out here, seven, Keep going, six, last five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, guys, standing up nice and tall. Third round of lunges. We're gonna switch the song so we're starting at a good spot here. All right, here. Let's get something not too fast. Something a little bit more fun. In one second as I find a good intro here. Okay. Come on, music. All right, so starting again in the middle of the mat. Right leg is going to start first. We're going to go into our right leg lunge. Right leg. That's it, back lunge. Here we go. Six of these, okay? So this is number five. Down. Four. And back. That's it. Three. And back. Two. And back. Last one. 
And back, other side. Let's go side lunge and then go into our back lunge. And two. That's it, and back. Go for three. Awesome job, guys. We're almost done, halfway. Four. And back. Five. Last one here, come on, guys. There you go, one more right, reverse lunge. Awesome job. One more set of our deadlift and rows. Here we go, feet hip distance apart. Catch your breath, unlock those knees. Four, three, two, hinge it down. We're gonna go hinge, row, hang, and up. That's it. So think about the steps. Hinge, abs tight as you row, and then up. Hinge, row, hang, and up. Seven more. And up. Six. And up. Five. And up. Four. And up. Start to move, guys. Come on. Three. And up. Let's finish our last two here. But on the last one, we're going to hang. Hang here. We're going to row ten. Down. Nine. And down. Eight. Keep going. Seven. Six. Last five. Keep going. Four. Let's pull it up. Three. Two. And one. Awesome job, guys. Okay, throw down your weights for a second. Give yourself a drink of water. And we're going to transition onto the floor again. Grab a drink. All right. Next round is going to be bird dogs and bicycles. It's a little bit of back and core work here. Perfect. So we're just going to go over what a bird dog looks like and the bicycle kicks as well. And we're going to do those exercises back to back. So here we go. Bird dog, we're going to get our hands, knees into position. Wrists are directly underneath your shoulders and knees are directly under your pelvis. You're going to reach your right arm, left leg out. Engaging your core to make sure your lower back doesn't sink. Engage the core, reach your arms out nice and long. You're going to squeeze your core, squeeze your abs as you draw your elbow and knee in, and you're gonna kick it straight back out. We're gonna do this transition 10 times, switch, and then go into the opposite arm and leg, okay? So let's give it a shot, guys. Make sure you're into position. If you'd like, you can curl your toes under. Take your right arm out, left leg out. Engage your core, push nice and tall through that armpit. Let's draw that knee and elbow in. Exhale, lengthen. Again, two, pull out. Three, working on our balance here. Four, inner core and our lower back. Five, and go again for six. Seven, and pull out. Eight, pull out. Nine, and out. One more time. Good, drop that right arm and left leg. Left arm comes out, right leg comes out. We're gonna curl it under and extend nice and long. Keep your core engaged. Two, hold nice and tall. Three, out, four, out. I'm engaging my core as I draw my knees in. Good, four more for four. Straighten out, three, two. Good, last one. Awesome job, guys. Perfect. Let's turn on to our back. Great work. Woo! Definitely got a sweat going on here. All right, guys. Let's interlace our fingers. Place it behind your head. Let's bring our legs into what's called a tabletop position, making sure your sacrum, your bum bone, feels nice and heavy on the mat. We're going to lift into a little mini crunch. So just taking your shoulder blades off the mat. Now, remember, we're not going to take our elbows to our knees, but we're going to move in that direction, keeping our elbows open as you rotate, rotate side to side. So here we go for bicycles here. Really make sure your head feels heavy in your hands and your core and your abs are actually working here. Let's kick. For 10. And 9. And 8. Breathe out. 7. Make sure you're breathing and you're not holding it. 5. Four, three, that's it. Two, big rotations. One, great work, guys. Give yourself a second to stretch. Let's rotate onto the hands and knees. Nice and slow so you don't get dizzy. 
Back into your bird dog, second set. Here we go, right arm, left leg. Let's curl it under for one, two, three, four. Should be nice and powerful now that you feel that warm up. Six, seven, eight, nine. Good, last one. Good job, let's switch it up to the other side. Left arm, right leg, curl, elongate. Two, core engage. Three, four, five. Breathing out, guys, come on. Six, almost there. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, guys. Stretch your lower back if you need it. And then let's make our way onto the back. Icicles, round two. Woo! Good work, everyone. Interlace those fingers, place them behind the head. Both legs up into tabletop. And let's go into that rotation. One and two. Bicycle kick here. Four, five, just a 10 reps. Six, good. Seven and eight, nine. Last one. Good work, guys. One more set. One more set of the bird dog. Woo. All right, here we go. One less set of bird dogs, one less set of bicycles. Let's get ourselves into position. Hands, hands, knees, knees. Reach the right arm, left leg. Let's go for 10, nine, come on, eight, seven. Abs engaged here. Six, powerful reach. Six, boy, I already said six. This is five, four, and three. Last two. One more time, let's switch it. Other side, reach. Curl, that's it, curl, reach, three, come on, four, five, six, you guys are doing great, seven, eight, two more, and 10, awesome job guys. Stretch out your back into trap pose, give yourself a few seconds before we turn all over onto the back, and do our last round of uh, my blah, blah, blah. <laughs> bicycles. Wow. I hope you guys are feeling this too. Here we go. Lying back down. Interlace your fingers. Place it behind your head. Feet back and foot. Tabletop position. Lift yourself into a crunch. And let's go side to side. Ten rounds. Let's go in one. Not ten rounds. Ten sets. Three. Three. Four. Four. That's it. Five. Really kick those legs out. Seven. Keep going. Eight. Come on. Nine and ten. Awesome job, guys. Tuck those knees in. Take a second here to stretch your arms and legs right out. Give yourself a nice lengthening stretch. Take an AC breath in. Exhale, let it go. Awesome work, guys. Bending the knees, rolling onto your side. Grab yourself a drink of water. And the next round, we're almost done. How are we doing here for time? We're doing pretty good. We've got about 10 minutes left. So let's do two rounds of the next set. So two rounds of the, we're gonna do bent out, sorry, reverse slides, as well as tricep kickbacks. So for this one, lighter dumbbells if you have it. If you're stronger in your back, you can definitely go into an eight pound. Um, I recommend five pounds if you have it, or even smaller, depending on how your back feels. So let me show you the setup here. So I'm gonna have my, Eight pound dumbbells here. Again, I recommend that you have lighter. We're gonna flatten our back, reverse fly, nice long arms for 10. Then we're gonna pump it up, kick it out to try to kick back for 10. And then we're gonna do a second set, okay? So it's gonna be a little bit quicker, it's gonna be a little bit more intense, so take your time. Here we go. Grab those weights, unlock your knees, hinge from the hips. Once you're ready, we're gonna count down 10 flies. Three, two, one, long arms for 10, nine, abs engage, eight, seven, six, let's do our last five here, and four, three, two, one more time, good, stand up tall first, relax the shoulders, bend back over, elbows up, 10 kickbacks for 10, come on, nine, and eight, and seven, good, six, last five, good, four, 
three, two, and one. Standing up tall, give yourself a second here. Second set, okay? We're almost done. Let the shoulder blades drop, let the weight pull down your shoulders. Give yourself a few seconds. Bend those knees. Hinge from your hips. Last set of 10 flies. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, come on, three. Let's do it, four, five, you got it. Six, four more, eight, nine, 10, awesome, that was a little hard with the eight. Give yourself a few seconds, catch your breath. Bend your knees, hinge again, shoulder blades, your arms up, last 10 kickbacks for those triceps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, come on. And 10, awesome job guys. All right, drop those weights right down. Woo! Last set of exercises, guys. Come on back down onto the floor. This time we're gonna go into some back extensions and back extension variations. Really switch up the music to be a little bit more chill. Woo, you guys are doing awesome. Okay. All right, guys, so back extensions here. So I'm gonna show you different types of variations for your back extensions. We really wanna focus here on the low back and mid back, areas that tend to give us a lot of trouble and tend to be weaker. So that's why we did a lot of posterior exercises today. So let's get down face down onto the ground and I'm gonna demonstrate a proper uh, back extension. I'm gonna kick off my shoes just for this last portion, just a little bit more comfy to do this without my shoes. You can keep them on if you want or take them off. Okay, so I'm settling my hips and pelvis down onto the mat now, if you find that your lower back is troublesome, you might want to keep your hands and elbows on the floor or on your mat. And all you're doing here, being mindful that you're tucking your chin closer to your chest so you have a proper alignment, nice straight alignment in your spine. I'm going to take a nice deep breath in before I go. As I exhale, I'm just going to hover my shoulder blades and lift my shoulders off the ground, keeping my head looking straight down at the mat and then slowly coming down. So that's one way. Or if you're stronger, you can take your fingertips to your temples, head looking down, take a breath in before you go. As you exhale, you're gonna lift and peel yourself off the mat, keeping your feet onto the ground, inhale to lower. So choose your stance. If you wanna keep your hands down, you can go for that. Just making sure you're not pushing into the mat or you can take your hands up to the side and lift straight up. So let's keep going here with whichever intensity you choose. And let's finish off our last eight. Eight. And down. Seven. And six. Shoulder blades back and down so we're not shrugging. Let's go down to the last four here. Breathing in. Exhale. Last two. Exhale. One more time. Up and hold this last one. And can you pulse? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and slowly come on down. Take a few seconds, catch your breath. Good. Now on this next round, on this next set, so if you take a look at the screen here for a second, I'm gonna go into a back extension with an alternating leg lift. So I'm gonna lift one leg as I come up. As I inhale, I'm slowly gonna come down. Exhale, lift, opposite leg lift, squeezing the glutes, and then slowly coming on down. So let's give that one a shot. Again, you can also do this with your hands down on the floor or at your temples. Here we go. Choose your intensity, hands down or at the temples. Take a nice deep breath in before you go. As you exhale, lift leg and upper body. Inhale to slowly lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, slowly lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, slowly lower. Keep going. We're going to alternate that leg and the arm. Perfect. And lift. Let's do four more here. For four. And three. Last two. You guys are doing awesome. One more time. And slowly lower down to the ground. Tuck your toes under. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your elbows in. Push yourself right back into child's pose. 
and sit back and just stretch out that lower back. You guys did a great job. We did a lot of the posterior chain, so we're going to spend just a couple minutes here stretching out that back. Really open up your knees in child pose. So really try to open the legs and the knees right to the sides of the mat. Try to bring your toes together. And I want you to push your hips right back onto the feet or onto your heels. And let that stretch for a second. For four, three, two, and one. We're going to bring ourselves up into a four-point position or quadruped, meaning hands, hands, knees, knees. We're going to take a moment to do a cat and cow here. So first, we're going to inhale to do cat. We're going to push our hands into the mat, curl the chin under, really stretch the shoulder blades away. As you exhale, we're going to drop the shoulder blades down into your spine, drop your hips, pushing them up into the ceiling, and look all the way up to the sky. Hold it. Inhale, arch the back into cat. Exhale into cow. One more. Inhale for cat. Stretching the upper back. Exhale, drop. Looking up to the ceiling. Bring your spine to neutral here. Take your right arm out to the side. We're going to open it up all the way to the ceiling, really stretching out the front of that chest. You're going to exhale, curl the arm under, drop your shoulder blades and head onto the mat, keep your hips up, and stretch that upper back. Four, three, last two, and one. Coming back up to center, let's do it with the opposite side. So big reach up, 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 up onto the other arm, really reaching that chest up to the sky. Exhale, curl it under. Drop your hips. Or keep your hips up to the sky and just open up that back. There you go. Take a few seconds here to stretch out that back. For four, three, last two, and one. Bring yourself back to center. Now we have just one minute left and I know it's very important guys because we don't do this enough. Let's just do a really, really quick back stretch and then we're good to go for today. We do not spend a lot of time on our lower back to strengthen and to stretch. So let's do that today. So let's bring ourselves back into that lying position, face up. We're gonna open up our palms down to the side at a T, take both knees up into the air, bring your knees and toes together. Take a nice deep breath in as you allow your legs to drop to one side, trying to keep both sides of your shoulder blades on the mat if you can, and slowly allow your legs to take time to come down to the floor. Looking over the opposite shoulder. So if I have my knees all into the right side, I'm looking over my left shoulder, the opposite direction. Take a nice deep breath in here. As you exhale, use your abs, use your core to bring your knees back to center, and let's go to the opposite direction. Legs are now going to the left. Slowly, slowly let them drop. And I'm gonna look over my right shoulder. This is an excellent stretch you can do at any point of the day, guys. Good, take a second here. And let's bring the knees back to center. Last one of the day, let's gonna grab onto our knees here. We're just gonna kind of rock on all sides of our pelvis. So find the brims of your pelvis. We're gonna roll side to side, just loosening up the sacrum, loosening up the pelvis. We sit a lot now in this pandemic age of all the zooming. So let's get those hips moving a little bit more. Let's do the opposite direction. If you already did one side, let's go to the other side. Just kind of moving around the spaces between your pelvis and your hip bones here. Good. One more little scoop around like you're stirring soup. Draw those knees into your chest. Wrap your hands or your hands right behind the hamstrings here. Pull yourself up and have an awesome day. Thank you guys so much for coming today. You guys did great. I hope you're sweaty and I hope that posture chain feels work today. Thank you again, guys. Have an excellent day. Enjoy the sunshine.